Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here today, my name is Jasmine, very nice to meet you. And for those of you guys that are returning subscribers, welcome back baby girl, glad to have you here. In today's video, in case you guys can't tell by the title, I will be doing a get ready with me on vacay, get ready with me in Cabo, get ready with me tropical vacation makeup, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm name titling this, but something along the lines of that. Yeah, you guys, I'm in Cabo, Mexico, on vacation right now. During COVID, I know it's crazy, right? But yeah, I'm on vacation and I decided to just do like a get ready with me um, vlog style, of course. I'm just using my vlog camera, so if the quality is a little bit different, that's why. I feel like this is like one of those like, um, the Vogue style one. That's the vibes it's giving me right now. So first I'm gonna go ahead and start with eyebrows. You guys, this is gonna be a pretty quick look just because I do have to go down to dinner in like 20 minutes, so. I'm doing a quick little vacay As you guys can see, I got a nice little tan. So my skin is really clear. My skin is really popping. So first for brows, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Benefit Brow Styler. And this is in the shade five, yep. And I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my brows. Right before I went on vacation, Benefit came out with the new like felt tip brow um, product. They sent it out, so I didn't get home and get my um, PR yet, but I'm so excited to see it when I get home. I'm gonna do a video for you, you guys, like reviewing it, because y'all y'all know I love Benefit Brow products, so anything they come out with with brows, y'all know I'm down for, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so now that I got my like little basic shape out, I'm going in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade five as well. And I'm just gonna go in and do like my hair like strokes. Well, actually first, I'm gonna go ahead and brush out this color first. And then I'm gonna go in with some hair like strokes in the front of the brow. We looking real harsh right now, but y'all it's gonna come together, I promise. Okay, boom. So now that that's done, I'm gonna be taking the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit Cosmetics as well. You would think this is a sponsored video, but it's not. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that through my brows so that they can stay on my face for the night and don't melt off. I wanna hear something really crazy right now. There's a hurricane happening here. Um, I'm not even joking. There's a hurricane coming toward Cabo right now. And um, yeah, like heading right toward us. I think it's like a category three. I don't know how bad that is, but the waves today on the beach were ridiculous. So I'm really, I'm not really scared, but y'all, I was like, dang. I hope this don't interfere with my, my best life that I'm trying to live. Oh, and I'm going with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and the color Cool Tan. And I am concealing under my brows. But yeah, I've never been in a hurricane before, so it's kind of cool, I ain't gonna lie, but them waves is looking mighty scary. Like, they, they already have like a lot of waves in Cabo compared to like the other parts of Mexico that I've been to. But, um, the waves today, like they was looking like surfing waves. I'm not even lying. Then I'm just brushing the product up in the front of the brow a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of eyeshadow on. Nothing, nothing like major or anything, just something slight. I'm using the Nude Mood Palette by ColourPop. And I brought this palette because I knew that it was gonna be perfect for vacay because it just has the best shades, like just nice neutral colors, nothing too crazy. So with the fluffy brush, I think I'm just gonna go in my crease with this color. It's all natural. Let me know if you guys want a video on like um, traveling during COVID traveling during a pandemic because I definitely, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of a weird thing right now with everything going on and people may be a little scared to travel or maybe curious about how things are run. So I can definitely do a video about like my experience 
specifically on this trip? Let me know in the comments down below. So now I'm just gonna go in with this light beige color. It's called Beard Wear. And I'm just gonna kind of pop that on my lid. Okay. And y'all, that's pretty much the eye. I'm just keeping it real simple. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting is horrible in here. I'm really sorry, but this is all we got to work with. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Um, this primer, y'all, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Y'all know I'm oily and uh, like I sweat a lot, but on vacation, this primer has been keeping my makeup like good. Like not even, like it might get a little dewy, but it don't get broke down, it don't get oily. I don't know if it's the primer by itself, or it's like the foundation that I'm using too, plus the primer. But it's been staying on, y'all. I've been doing the same makeup routine for the past four days, five days. We have three more days left, so trip's almost over. I'm not ready to go, but I guess we gotta get back to the real world. Now I'm gonna be using the new Born This Way matte foundation. This is in the shade Mocha. And y'all, this is the same shade that I used before I got tan, but it's kind of weird because it still matches me now. And like I mentioned, if you guys watch my review on this foundation, I mentioned that I was like, maybe it's a little dark on me. But then when I blended it out and put concealer on, it didn't look like dark. But I think that it might've been the concealer that made it not seem so dark and it made it still workable. So I'm really happy that I brought this foundation because this shade literally still matches me perfectly. I'm trying to stay hydrated. So now I'm taking my Juno Co sponge and I'm just blending out that foundation. But yeah, y'all see that's like still a good match. And honestly, like a darker shade probably could have worked too. But I think this is perfect. And it's just, it's just so weird to me. But it's making me think that maybe I should go a lighter shade when I'm not as tan. Okay, so now that my foundation is all blended out, I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This is in the shade Dark 125N. All the products that I use will be down below. You guys know the drill and the shades as well. Now I'm not really putting that much concealer because of the fact that I have a tan and the concealer is still like my normal concealer shade. Like I'm still putting it everywhere I usually put it, but just not as much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fit Me loose setting powder i don't know what i was trying to say but i'm using the fit me loose setting powder this shade is a little light so i'm not using as much but i'm just really trying to press it into my skin so it doesn't make me look like ashy so now that um I'm looking a little, a little more pasty, like, yeah, a little pasty. We gotta go ahead and bronze my face. So I'm going in with the contour palette from Black Radiance, and I am just bronzing my face up. And this time, I'm not only using the middle shade, but I'm gonna be using the, oh, sorry, that y'all, sorry, that's my sister. She was just in here talking to me. But I'm using the um, brown shade as well. We don't really have much left to do. Let's go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. So I'm using the ABH Blush Trio and this is in the Peachy Love. And I'm just mixing all these shades together. I'm putting a lot on, but I'm gonna blend it out. So, and now we're gonna go ahead and use highlighter and I'm using the Am Reezy highlighter. I love this shade and it's so perfect for vacation with the perfect gold. And I just 
just like that on my nose and then a little bit on the bridge and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit in my inner corners now I'm gonna go ahead and put some Maybelline falsies mascara on my lower lash line Now we're gonna go ahead and do lips really quick. So for lips, I'm just using the NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner, and it's just like a dark brown. And then I'm just going in with my Dominique Cosmetics Pink Lip Gloss. It's pink lemonade. I'm just applying that on my lips. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much gonna be the makeup. I'll show you guys my like outfit and like whole little transformation in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair off camera. But now I'm going ahead and just spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Matte. Listen, this has been getting my face together too. So let me, let me spray it up. I'm gonna run and go ahead and get dressed because I am already late. So I'll be right back, okay? All right, you guys, so this is gonna be the final look. I'm in the light now so you can see my makeup real good. And I just feel like this is perfect, like perfect vacay vibes. It's just, I don't know, it's just effortless, but like just a much, just, just a much, just enough without doing too much. I got on these cute little earrings from H&M for like three bucks. Do like a little slick back hair moment. And I'm wearing like a maxi dress that has like animal print all over it. If you guys wanna see this full outfit, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so that you can see it all in all its glory. But yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button on the road to 8K, baby. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.